Today's lesson, we will be continuing to talk about functions in learning target two of unit five. We will start by determining if a relation is a function given some context. For the first example, a student is keeping a log of the number of miles he runs every day. To the right is a graph to indicate the number of miles he has accumulated over the past few days. Does this graph represent a function? Why or why not? Looking at this graph, I see four points that all have different x values. So therefore, this must be a function because each x value has only one y value. Noticing that there's a one going to a five, two days or two going to 10, three going to 15, or and four going to 20. For the next example, the following graph represents the distance of a golf ball after it is hit off a tee, where time in seconds is the x-axis and distance in feet is the y-axis. Does this graph represent a function? Why or why not? Looking at this graph, I see that the graph is curved, but there are no points that have x values repeating. So this is a function because each x value has only one y value. Now I'd like you to recall a coordinate point can be written as x comma y. Here the x value represents the input and the y value represents the output. For these next examples, we need to be able to identify what the input and output values would be for a given point. For number one, negative two would be our input because it's our x and three is our output because it's our y. For number two, one is our input because it's the x, and negative 10 is the output because it's the y. For number three, zero is our input because it's the x, and four is our output because it's the y. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful. Thanks for watching.